just following the first snow melt of the year. We're following a key line swale. It's dropping at about a 1% grade along the edge of a hillside here. Give you an idea of where we're at. And it's directing water towards a ridge. And that ridge used to be the driest part of this field. And now we're optimizing that level of moisture. Again, we're seeing the water directing this way. Down towards this orange flag is a collection pool where it's at grade. There's no drop at all, so it's perfectly level here. And the water will collect. And we'll see here that it's frozen over again. We've got a bit of water being stored here. And as the ground thaws, this will soak into the soil and recharge that groundwater that otherwise would be depleted out here on the ridge where it's typically drier. So you see that tapering of the moisture right up to here. This acts as a, a vernal pool for wildlife and a collection pool. And we can optimize this for plants that like a little bit more water than others. On top of the swale, we have seaberry which is a nitrogen fixer, produces a great fruit, and loves a, a you know, wide, wide array of conditions from dry to wet. So Grant Schultz, Versaland.com, collection pool of a key line swale.